Pro. Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, just going to do another Cubase 8 tutorial on VCA faders. Uh, and just a, a quick look uh, as to how these can be useful for automation within your project. So here I've got a percussion loop, a uh, snare and a clap, a couple of hats and a couple of sort of effects, clicks and, and so on. Um, just play you that. So there you go. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to sort of group um, these into individual sections. Uh, this is why I've colour coded them, so we'll have a group VCA fader in the red, VCA fader for the orange and a VCA fader for the yellow. So if we open up the mixer, what we can do is uh, select our group, holding control there to, to select them both, and if we right click, add VCA fader to selected tracks. So And there we go, we've got the green fader there. Same again with the orange, so we'll select them both, right click, add VCA fader to track. And same again with the yellow, add VCA fader to selected channels. So, and as you can see there now, each one of these faders basically moves the selected faders um, sort of together. So we've got three separate faders for the percussion, but what we could also do now is link these three VCA faders to another VCA fader as if it was a group. Uh, and just move across in my mixer, there you go. So what we'll quickly do with this VCA1, we'll call these snare VCA, call the second one hat VCA, the third one effects VCA, and the fourth one perk group VCA. So the beauty of this now is, as you can see, we can move the different sections individually within our percussion, or we can have the one fader automating all of them. So if let's set these sort of slightly differently. Um, So you can see there instantly we've got loads of different variations of almost grouping uh, without the audio routing aspect of it, which makes um, so much more sense, certainly with regards to automation. Because uh, what we can do now, obviously you can see here, I mean let's colour coordinate these, uh, let's put them green. So we can see. basically like the faders. So there's our snare VCA, hat VCA, effects VCA and group VCA. So what we could do now is if we click on the read and write automation we can individually or that because we're doing the group one there it's controlling the whole group as you would expect. However in the individual ones we can do some automation as well. So you can see there, like the possibilities now, there's just so many more possibilities. So if we play that, let's open up the mixer. So there you go, you can see the, the faders moving by themselves uh, in the individual element aspect like we created, but also the percussion VCA, so in fact, let's take that one off. Let's move that up, let's give it some volume. Open up the mixer. So you can see there, um, just so many more possibilities. Not to mention, uh, obviously, you can still do read and write automation on the individual channels themselves. Um, as you can see, the possibilities uh, are limitless, really, as to how far you go with this. Uh, the beauty of this for me 
because of all the or lack of audio routing it gives you a little bit more hands-on with the automation without doing loads of other processes running in the background obviously the processing power of Cubase 8 now is far superior to its previous versions or the, you know the amount of processing power that it uses so again another plus for Cubase 8 and a definite step in the right direction so that was it just another quick overview of, of how VCAs can be handy don't forget if you like what I'm doing please subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions then get in touch I'll be pleased to answer them till next time bye bye